Rocher. Here we are, Fly Navarro from Fly Zone Fishing, Captain Ray Rocher from the Miss Britain r and &R Tackles. We bought a kite. We're getting ready to go out kite fishing. What do we do? Well, the first thing, wash the kite. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but- Why do we wash? When they, when they make kites, they get screen printed with ink. Sometimes that ink can get, be a little inconsistent. And the bottom line is if that ink's inconsistent on the, on the fabric, you're never gonna get stable flight. So just a simple, lay it on the deck, a little bit of soap and water, wash it. These things dry in a couple minutes, no big deal. All right, so once they're dry, mm -hmm. what's the first thing you do? Worry about bridle adjustment and lead if you're gonna fly two kites. One kite, obviously, you wouldn't need, need lead, but if you're gonna fly two kites, uh, you're gonna hold that for me. Yes, sir. And that, okay, yes, sir. balloon guy. So when the kites are purchased, whether they're Lewis kites, AFCOs, whatever, they're gonna have an adjustment. And bottom line is you'll have a long and a short mark. If this kite were newer, you could still see it. <laughs> we keep ours kind of tuned the way we like them. Nobody really plays with it. But the, the thing to learn about this little slide, the longer you make this center bridle, see I just lengthened it, see how flat the kite wants to fly? That actually works like an airplane wing. It, wing. it actually works opposite of what I thought it would. I thought a kite vertical would catch more wind. This creates more lift. That's how an airplane flies. So the only downside to shortening this too much, instability. And we're gonna show you that at some point when we're putting the kites out. But you, you need to go out really on a day in the bay, fly your kites in the wind that's appropriate. Like a, you know, say a 10 knot day, you'd bust out your ultralights and you'd, you'd mark short mark if you go too short it gets unstable if you go too long it gets unstable find that happy place two marks i always start out on the longest mark i want this center bridle as long as possible before it starts wobbling and that creates more lift with the split shots we angle the kites to create a bigger spread so think about it more energy to lift more energy to spread perfect now you've set up your bridle mm -hmm. and getting ready to put it out what do you do we take uh pretty simple stuff phone wire twist a little loop in it and you use phone wire phone wire yeah, we actually sell it okay you know, uh, but you could use it upper that wire that. or anything yeah. so i'm going to trade you all right so this is the end result just a couple granny knots tie off the balloon then tie it to the wire and uh this kite has that little tab right there and now why do you put this on the kite well when the kite hits the water which is inevitably going to do when the kite falls out of the sky, the sky and, hits and hits the, the water, water which it inevitably will happen exactly there's no panic because think about where is it located it's on the surface. Downwind to you. Easy to get to, no panic. These, these are the things that are important. Eliminate stress, eliminate panic. So when you go to do this, you can quickly solve these kind of problems and not be all stressed out about so it. So when your kite splashes, Let it's the boat downwind. Drift. First thing we do, wind all the fishing lines in. Pop all the clips. Get all that mess out of the way so it doesn't end up in your propeller. Now you're just dealing with a floating kite. Now here's another little scenario that ha has been, this balloon has benefited us in a tournament hook a big pack fish jumping everywhere kite hits the water guess what we do go to our long mark where the short clip is cut the line let it go it's now a lobster buoy okay let all your gear go go catch your fish i've done it several times come back you know that's one of the benefits of a red kite bright kite and basically take your time catch your fish go back get your kite lay the deck out lay the line on the deck or on a yo-yo get your electric reel, wind it right back on, you're back in business. Perfect. Simple. Guys, thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone.